and I'm not here alone. I'm here with ba, ba, ba. my sister. <laughs> now we are in Bethnal Green, which I've never really stayed before. I, I really had to kind of uh, work around a tighter budget this time, so we're not staying in the city center. Uh, but so far, so good. We're staying at a travel lodge, looks pretty nice, looks clean. We checked for bed bugs, all clear. Uh, now we're gonna walk around and enjoy a uh, shortage. about people spending a lot. I think from this point on we're gonna go delve deeper into Soho because there's just so many places there I love and I want to show my sister. She's never been to the Cutty Rolls place, she's never been to Sujiri and I've taken you guys there before through one of my vlogs uh, but Maki has never been so I need to give her all of this great experience and also Japan Center, all of those places. taking the tube and if you've ever talked about the tube with me you know I hate it uh, <laughs> now it's being I, w I kept thinking that maybe I'm just being a big baby and the tube isn't as bad and it's great for saving money even though every ride is like 250 so not really even that cheap but cheaper than uber but now we're stuck here well at first we got stuck in uh, a train for about 10 minutes and um, if you've ever taken the tube you know there's like zero air there so I basically um, approached a tiny panic attack I had to leave now I'm just kind of stuck at the Holborn station and the train is still there so I'm kind of glad that I left it uh, yeah but I don't know when we're gonna get home and eat our dinner from a supermarket <laughs> home even though it's been quite an adventure on the ever so broken London tube. Before getting on the ever so broken London tube we picked up some food including these tiny cheeses, these tiny wines, the tiny salami, the tiny ham! <laughs> we bought everything that's tiny because we like kid stuff uh, and now we're gonna eat it here in bed and hope that BBC has uh, some sort of weird show on again. We will see you tomorrow.
super rainy and windy and kind of cold and uncomfortable unwelcoming London full of people full of tourists it is the remembrance weekend after all so there's quite a lot of stuff going on uh, which means that wherever we were trying to get today we got there like an hour later uh, that just happens I guess when you travel to London on a weekend uh, right now we are by Thames River we went to Tate and we had a little look around the city you know the that's the part, the businessy part, right? That's the that's the name of it. Uh, yeah, Jesus, it's very windy. I hope you're hearing me at all. Welcome to our last full day in London. Today we are going back to Shoreditch area to catch up with some of the things that we didn't do on the first night. Uh, we want to see an art show, we want to go to Barbican, we want to see some of the markets because it's Sunday so uh, it's an ideal day to do that. Maybe we will pick up one of those cute puppies for Remembrance Day finally today. I'm pretty sure Maki wants one. Um, because that's what's happening today, it's Remembrance Day. Maybe later in the day we're gonna have time to go to Tower of London and see the the fire installation that's happening there. I think that for that we have to be there after dark, but it's winter time in Britain, so after dark basically means at like four. So I think that's doable. Maggie Super wants bubble tea, because her favorite bubble tea in Prague closed down and she has like sweet memories of having her first bubble tea in London. Mm -hmm. Was that your first? You'll never forget your first. Yeah, let's go out. Let's go explore Shoreditch and Barbican and all that fun super hip area. And you are very welcome to come with us. market. We also tried to visit the Lazy Oaf's uh, illustration exhibition but unfortunately because yesterday as you could see from the vlog the weather was quite horrid. Uh, the gallery space was like underground and the rain got in and it's like a you know hazard to health and safety. So instead we got a free pin. Maki do you have your pin on you? I got the, the smiley face and Maki got the Lazy Oaf dog. Ooh.
morning guys, we made it to Sky Garden, uh, which was a surprise to me because the tickets, the free tickets are always really booked out. You have to go to the website of Sky Garden and I think that every Monday they release some new tickets. I am kind of confused about to like for what time period they release them, but what I was told was like every Monday there's some new tickets hanging around. So that's my tip, probably like Sunday midnight when it's rolling onto Monday might be a good idea. Anyway. Again, it's free and it's usually a really great experience, although today there was a thunderstorm, there was like actual lightnings and, and thunder and everything, so they closed off the open balcony, which is kind of a bummer because from there you have the nicest views and definitely you can make the prettiest shots, but it's, it's still really fun even when you're just on the inside because there's all this like sort of exotic garden thing going on which is very pretty and you also have a 360 view anyway it's just that it sucks when you're trying to take pictures or videos because my camera is only really able to ever focus on the raindrops on the glass so that's it that's that's what you guys are gonna be getting through my vlog um, anyway this is our last day here not even a full day in like two hours I need to go to the train station but for now we try to like fill this morning with something exciting so we went to the sky garden and uh, now in like 20 minutes we're gonna go back down take an uber to our travel lodge and then Maggie, Maggie will have to wait for freaking ages until she can go to the airport <laughs> sorry 